This is Technovation, a unique tech capsule brought to you by iGrasp and powered by our tech partners, SP Robotic Works. Without further ado, let's hand it off to Daniela Jacob to get us started. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Technovation. Today's episode is jam-packed with a lot of interesting content. From universal chargers to robots to even a quiz where you can earn some great prizes. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. My name is Daniela and congratulations on taking the first step in your journey of becoming more tech savvy. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to our Tech News Roundup, where we get you the important tech stories from all around the world. Have you ever gone to a friend's house with low battery on your phone and then you're incredibly frustrated because your friend doesn't have the same phone charger as you? Well, if you live in Europe, this problem could soon be completely eliminated. An EU tribunal has plans to set a law requiring all phones to have a universal charger. The main reason for this is to reduce the amount of electronic waste by making charges standard across phones. With our lives becoming more and more dependent on gadgets, the waste we produce through them is also increasing. Therefore, this law will allow people to hold onto their charger even when they change phones. Google, the company behind Android architecture, has said they are rolling out accessibility features to help people with speech and physical disabilities. Using a raised eyebrow or a smile, people can now operate their smartphones hands-free. The changes are the result of two new features. One is called camera switches, which lets people use their faces instead of wipes and taps to interact with their smartphones. The other is Project Activate, a new Android application which allows people to use those gestures to trigger an action, like having a phone play a recorded phrase, send a text, or even make a call. This is a really great initiative and we can hope to see other developers make these changes too. Self-driving cars are definitely the future of automobiles. Right now, one of the main companies driving this forward is Elon Musk's Tesla. The company is in the process of starting public tests, but authorities in the city of San Francisco have raised safety concerns over Tesla's FSD system. FSD stands for full self-driving, which authorities say is misleading as the system is more akin to advanced driver assistance program, not an autonomous vehicle system. Elon Musk has said he hopes to prove the authorities the efficiency of his system before the test. That's all the time we have for our tech news stories. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back after a very short break. <laughs> Just kidding. The content never stops here at Technovation. If you've ever been a fan of robots, stay tuned because we have Suyash educating us about the history of robotics. When I say the word robot, what comes to your mind? Humanoid metal figures that can perform both basic and complex functions to aid us humans? Well, the history of robots is actually quite fascinating. We might think that robots have only captured the imagination of us people in the last 50 years or so, but this is actually completely false. You see, in the ancient and medieval periods of the world, robots were called automatons with the ancient Greeks actually having one in their mythology. Talos was a giant bronze statue forged by the god Hephaestus, who patrolled the shores of the island of Crete to protect it from pirates. This isn't the only mention of automatons from history. The Arab scholar Al-Jazari built a wooden automaton which could serve drinks to his guests while in Renaissance Italy, Leonardo da Vinci designed a robotic knight through a complex system of pulleys and cables, which could stand, sit, and even move its jaws. How cool is that? In India, Tipu Sultan owned a life-sized wooden model of a tiger, which could roar and even move its limbs. So you see, robots are not a phenomena of the modern world as people from history have been fascinated by the imagination 
of these friendly humanoid metallic helpers. Most people believe that modern robotics began in 1954 when George Devil invented Unimate, a robotic arm which was first digitally operated and programmable robot. In 1961, the first Unimate was installed in a General Motors manufacturing plant in New Jersey, where it was used to lift hot pieces of metal from a die casting machine and place them in cooling liquid. So the history of robotics has not only been imagined, but also actively worked on since medieval times, with Elon Musk's Tesla looking to come out with the world's first ever fully functioning humanoid robot in the next couple of years, we are extremely close to seeing a 2000 year old dream become reality. And the future is now. If you need to take a breather after this tech history lesson, you cannot have it. Coming up is Seanak with some crazy tech facts. Take it away, Seanak. Thanks so much, Suyash. Okay, so I have a bit of a challenge for myself. I'm going to try and give you all the tech facts that I can in under two minutes. Um, can we please have the timer ready? All right, good. Go. So today, the theme for our facts is all about interesting tidbits you didn't know about one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Google. So did you know that in 1999, Yahoo and a company called Excite held the top spots in search engine popularity. Larry Page, co-founder of Google, in fact, actually pitched a sale of the company to Excite CEO George Bell. Sitting in 2021, we of course know how crazy that is considering Google went on to be one of the largest tech companies in the entire world. The name of the company in the beginning was called Backrub, but eventually, thankfully, a better name was sought out. Even the name Google was actually an accident. It is actually a typo. It was supposed to be Google, which is the name for the number 10 to the power 100 in reference to the um, enormous amounts of information the search engine could process. And finally, Google, which created the Android platform, named its operating systems after various sweet dishes. Hence names like Android KitKat, Android Gingerbread, and Android Marshmallow. Tech companies in Silicon Valley, this is actually super interesting, have a long-standing tradition of pranking each other, why wouldn't they, as well as their customer base, on April Fool's Day. Google took this just a little step further when in 2004, on April 1st, they unveiled a brand new service in the form of Gmail. Everybody thought this was nothing but a hoax, but it was completely real, with now it being one of the most preferred email services in the world. Well, that's all we have in terms of time. I can see the clock giving me the signal that I have managed to talk about Google for two minutes. Before we end this episode, let's quickly take you through exactly how to win some great prizes through our tech quiz. The Technovation Quiz is a unique opportunity for you to flex those brain muscles and show us how brainy you are in matters of tech. All you need to do is click on the link in the description, put in your details and do the quiz. There are some great prizes waiting for you to those who come in first and second. The winner will receive an Android app development course worth Rs 6,000 for absolutely free. Now not everyone can be a winner, so therefore the runner-up will receive a scratch programming course worth Rs 3,000 rupees once again for free. Our tech partners SP Robotic Works will help you level up your skills and make you take charge of your future because remember, the future is now. Be quick though, as preference will always be given to those who answer first. Win the course and be inducted into the iGrasp Hall of Fame to do your school and yourself proud. Thank you for watching Technovation. We can't wait to see you in the next two weeks to help you become more tech savvy and more innovative. See you then.